Mick. I'm here in Callaway County in Evolves, Missouri. Here I'm standing in front of my Alari uh, air cart. It's a five ton air cart. I use it for putting down fertilizer as I'm planting and also use it for side dressing nitrogen and corn time. Uh, one of the things I like about it is I've quit uh, using it, uh, putting almost all my fertilizer down with this operation. I am eliminating my fertilizer that I was putting down the row, liquid fertilizer I was putting down the row. So we've got openers and, and the sealers. The planter mounts on the rear. Of the three, it's a three-point mounted planter and mounts on the rear. Um, we've got this running, we've got the openers running two by two from the uh, uh, from the seed as it goes down the furrow. When I want to side dress, I take and loosen up the units and move them on the toolbar to have them run down between the rows. And we also change some of the uh, metering, gates on the metering for for changing it back and forth that way. Um, Tell me why you think this, this setup is better than what you were well, doing. I was, I, I was, you know, looking at the strip tillers and was uh, seeing how they were uh, getting increased yield from banning their fertilizer. Well, I kind of like that idea. So I wanted, when was looking for a yield bump, also with my cover crops, I feel that we need to be getting some fertilizer out here to get the crop started because we've got a full crop out here growing. I feel like a lot of those nutrients are pulled up with that. I don't really have a uh, positive about that. We're going to do some testing. We're going to, you know, put, didn't run any strip tiles last year was the first dry and, and realized that when I got done planting, I hadn't run any strip tiles of with and without fertilizer or banding the fertilizer. So we're going to be working on some of that. Um, I also look to improve some fertilizer efficiency or losing using less fertilizer with this system over what I was doing before. And let's see. Uh, also switching from uh, high priced uh, insecticides that can be mixed with uh, fertilizer to be using generics. What it's only just going to use straight water to inject them in the furrow from now on. So mm -hmm. that's another reason for going this route. Mm -hmm. How did you see the crops coming up last year? Did you see any difference or? Uh, the only difference was, was where I'd left the switch on and off and when, when uh, corn was getting close to tassel time, there was getting to be about almost that much difference between the small spots that I didn't have fertilizer and did have fertilizer on. So I'm seeing a difference in growth. I'm almost, one of the things that sticks in my mind, I made a mistake here a few years ago and, and uh, didn't put nitrogen on for a strip through the field. I watched that strip. It was always a week to 10 days behind the rest of the field. And that, well, another reason I started this program was, was I couldn't get enough carrying capacity on the equipment I had before. So I had to look for something different, a different route to get enough. I, I was running out of nitrogen from the time I planted. For the time that, by the time I got the side dress, I had yellow corn. So I'm trying to eliminate yellow corn. 